The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Okay, so we have done it. We are here. I'm here with the fittest winner champions. They've all done the eight weeks. We're going to just go and do a recap of how much weight each person lost. But before we weigh in, check out these gorgeous photos from the I got my sexy back photo shoot with Cedra Soaks Photography. It is time for the fittest winner strength test. Okay, so when we first started this challenge, everyone did these frog squats. This time, we're gonna all do them together, and the last person standing, the last person doing those frog squats will win the star of the day. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see how strong these champions are. You're gonna go down like this. Squat down, touch the ground, chest up. You're gonna come up, put your feet together. Good, go down. And up. Good. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. And one, two, touch the floor. Three, open the knees. Four, five, six, seven. Down and up. Good. Open the knees and touch the floor and breathe out. Good. Down, up. Good. Drop those booties. We're going to be here a while. All right. These girls are too strong. I love it. That's it, you gotta touch the floor each time. Open up those knees, sit into it, good. Frog squats, that's it. After a while, you'll start to feel the legs tingling. They're tingling. All right, no stopping, no stopping. Ananya, great job, step on out. That's it, come on. Brittany's out, let's go. Let's keep it going. That's it. We have four on deck. That's it, come on. Open those knees and sit down. Good, not such a big break, Mina, keep it going. Yes, yes. All right, so Mina's in the right. We have three left. Judy, Cherie, and Lungy, powering it up. Yes, good. I love it. Oh, two more left. Come on, Judy and Lungy, what's it gonna be? Judy and Lungy, what's it gonna be? Yeah. Woo, I'm so excited. I almost wanted to do it with them, but I'm not. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Down and up, come on, hang in there ladies. Hang in there, I'm loving it. Woo, I guys. see determination. Woo. I see strength. I see winners. Yes, yes. That's it, hang in there. Perseverance is what you do yes. when it gets hard. I wanna see what you do when it gets hard. That's it, show me who you are ladies. Show me who you are. That's it, show me who you are. That's it. They're just waiting. They're waiting for one to fall, but they are both in there. They're both in there. I love it. What you can do is so you push that extra mile. That's right. That's right. Keep going. Oh, yes. yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. This is so exciting. Oh, my Second God. Hand. That's it. Just bring it up. Bring it up. Go. All right. I'm going to have to stick in this challenge up. Come on. Put your palms up. All right.
Good. So place your hands under your shoulders. Good. And you're going to inhale. You're going to come down as far as you can and press up. That's it. Inhale. Come down as far as you can and press up. I will take a little mini push-ups. Lean back. But I want you to hang in there. Don't give up. Let's hit it. Up. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, get back up there, 24, 25, that's it, 25 and 20, great job, give me some high fives. All right, okay, so we're gonna be looking forward to seeing those push-ups get lower as their minds get stronger uh, for the next team. Okay, so I'm here with Mina and Judy, the fittest winner contestants, and we are gonna do the strength test because you know what? Champions are not made by how much they weigh, champions are made by what they can do. So when this challenge first started, they could barely do like five push-ups. We're gonna see what they can do at the end of the challenge. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, you guys need to get that energy in there, the strength, this is what we're gonna do. Bring your hands out, straighten your legs out, put your shoulders over your wrists, keep your abs nice and tight. You're going to inhale down, use the floor and push up, good, that's inhale down and push up, alright, you guys ready? You're going to take your hands a little bit wider, that's it, and you're going to, I'm going to count it out, you guys just go, remember to push against the floor and exhale on your way up, ready? That's it, go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, come on, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, come on, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. <laughs> Two, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, that's it, 28, come on, focus, 29, 30, yes, great job, all right, 25 and 30. Okay, so mm, we're going to show our guns, we are ready for the strength challenge. I'm here with Blenji and Cherie, and we're going to see how low can you go. We're going to work on our upper body strength. When this challenge first started, we can look back at that tape and see that the push-ups, well, ah, there weren't, wasn't very much up going during the push. So now we're going to see how many push-ups that you guys can do. I want you to send each other energy, and let's do as many as we can. Are you guys ready? Yeah. And you're going to inhale down, bring your chest down towards the floor. Don't let your back sink down. And then exhale and push up and breathe out. Use your abs. One more in, uh, demonstration. Inhale down and exhale up. All right. So lean back for a second. All right. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to count it out. Good. Take your hands a little wider, Lindsay. That's it. And let's hit it. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, come on, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 
how they did on the final weigh-in. For like for me at least, like I would be dedicated for like two weeks and every single day go to the gym. Something happens at work or with family, throws me off my schedule, and then I kind of give up and fall back into old patterns again. Okay, Raw Stars, I'm here with Mina. All you OPs out there are tuned in. We are going to do the final weight and measure. But before that, I want to talk about your non-scale victories. About before we weigh and you sort of just judge yourself based on this number, tell me how you feel after this eight weeks in your body and share with us some non-scale victories. Okay, uh, a lot of the non-scale victories that I consider huge for me uh, would be the waking up early, the being committed to this every single day and sticking with it, because that, before this challenge, that was the hardest thing for me, uh, was sticking to a fitness routine okay. for more than two weeks, and I did it for eight. Nice. Uh, <laughs> next one, just tell me something about your body. About my body? Yeah. Uh, I'm super happy that the hips have gone down, mm -hmm. the butt's gone down a lot, I'm so excited about that. Um, the arms feel a lot stronger, like it doesn't feel as much fat around here. <laughs> that was a lot of victories. So, so if you didn't that. lose one pound on the scale, would anybody yeah. be able to take those victories away from you? No. That's right. You own them already. Yes. You already own all of your victories. So no matter what the scale says, you already win. Okay. Okay? Oh my goodness! 148. This is awesome! <laughs> so she has lost. 15 pounds. She was 163 on the floor. Yay! Congratulations! I'm actually really happy about that. Yes, are you happy? Yes. My name is Brittany. I'm from California. Um, and I want to be the fittest winner because I want to motivate all those out there who've been struggling with obesity and being overweight. Okay, so after this eight weeks, we are here at this final moment where we will weigh in and we'll see how much weight Brittany lost. But I want to tell you guys, to me, it doesn't really matter because she's already a winner. Brittany, you look amazing. I'm so proud of you. And I want you to share with all the OPs and law stars out there three non-scale victories. Something about your body that has nothing to do with the scale. How do you feel after this eight weeks? I feel so amazing, so beautiful. I feel immensely strong. So my three, definitely number one, will be my mental strength. Right? I just feel so strong, like I can be in front of desserts or any kind of food that's not healthy and healthy. I don't know how I want it. When you complete this journey successfully, no matter what the scale says, you already are a winner. You know what you can do. Your mind is strong, your body is strong, your heart is open and positive. So we know that you're already a winner, but we're going to go ahead and check in and see what the scale says. You ready? Yes. a lot of weight but I put some back on and I really need somebody to help me just get back into it. Okay so we are at that moment of truth where we're going to have a final weigh in with Judy but before we do that to all the OPs out there they have not weighed themselves the entire challenge and the fitness winner is absolutely not about how much you weigh. We always are like judging ourselves and making ourselves a slave to what the scale says, but that's not who you present on a daily basis. You never walk down the street with your weight on your chest. When you walk down the street, you are confident, you're strong, you're fit, you're energetic. So I want to ask Judy, before we start, what are some of your non-scale victories? My clothes, stuff that I used to wear, don't fit me anymore. Okay. Um, another one is when I'm at work, my energy level is just so much greater than before. Okay, so we're gonna have to step on the scale. Okay. 152.8 and her original weight was 164. Okay, so you lost 11.2 pounds. That's amazing. I wanted to obviously get into shape and be in the best shape that I possibly could be. Mm -hmm. um, additionally from that, I wanted to get stronger mentally, spiritually, and physically. Okay, so here we are. It's me and you, Blakey. And I'm so excited because you know what? Everyone has completed the challenge successfully, and we have some great victories, and now we're going to actually weigh ourselves to see what the difference is from when they started until now. But before we do that, 
I want you guys to all remember that your scale weight does not define you. This is not what this whole challenge is about. The challenge is about being fit, fierce, and fabulous in every aspect of your life. So before we get on the scale in here, I want you to give me three non-scale victories. Three victories that you've experienced in the biggest challenge that have nothing to do with how much you weigh. Definitely mental strength. Mm -hmm. That's the number one victory for me, being stronger, having the willingness to commit, mm -hmm. um, following through my work, and you know, yes. just staying focused, you know, and, and and knowing the purpose and sticking to it. She owns her mental strength, her perseverance, her motivation, and her ability to complete this challenge with all of her energy. And here we go, we have 185.8. Yes. Oh my God, her original weight was 209.5 for a total loss of 23.7 pounds. <laughs> the fittest winner because I am not where I want to be in my life. I want to get rid of this. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited. I'm here with Cherie and we are at the moment of truth. We're going to do the final weigh in with Cherie and but before I do that, I want to talk about some other non-scale victories. On the fittest winner, we are on the road to greatness and that means that we are strong, fit, fierce, and balanced in mind, body, and spirit. So are you going to share with us? Three of your non-scale victories that you experienced during this challenge. All right, so three non-scale victories. Well, one is that I have a way more strength and endurance now than I did before. Being able to do stuff like that, that takes strength all, all over your entire body. And so I can see that change, I can feel that change, and that feels really great. Number two is that I actually see more definition and tone in my legs. So like I, I have always been able to go out and wear just you know some little booty shorts, whatever, <laughs> just kind of a little skirt, you know. And the, the past few years I haven't really been able to do that. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm just kind of venturing out, putting on shorts is not an issue. Oh, so it's nice. really really nice. And number three is definitely the energy level, which is something that I really talked about and I wanted to focus on coming into this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Is that every day I wake up and I'm you know, or not wanting to go on, on with the day at all. And now I just like, five o'clock in the morning, beep. You wake up and you have purpose, you do a workout, it changes every other aspect of your life. Because you know what you're gonna do, you need to celebrate yourself, and you get to do something just for you every day that goes, you know what, I'm proud of myself. So we are at 201.8. Oh, yeah. The person who has lost the most weight 
will get eight stars. Eight oh, stars. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay, so let's go. So, how much have you lost? 14.4 pounds. How do you feel? Amazing. Yes. yes. How much have you lost? 19.9 pounds. Yes. How do you feel? Still amazed. Yes. <laughs> and how much have you lost? 11.2. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And you? 15. 15. When's the last time you've been at this weight? Uh, when I was two. <laughs> She did great. When we came back, guess what? Judy Osborne. It's one of the reasons why Judy is here is because you know you probably didn't see her in as many of the videos because as you know she's a preschool teacher and she had to leave early a lot of the days. And I remember when we first started um, the interview process, she said to me, "Well, you know." I'm really good at like if someone gives me a plan, I can kind of stick to it. Remember you said that? I want to be on the fittest winner because um, a few years ago I lost a lot of weight, but I put some back on and I really need somebody to help me just get back into it. And so that to me was really the key to her success. You have to find a plan, right? You have to be able, if you can't be with Tiffany Roth full time, I know, I know, okay? But if you can't full time be with me, then there is the next best thing, which is the Tiffany Roth Fit Club, and you have to get into the habit of self motivating. And she, because she'd already been doing that, was able to self motivate on a regular basis and check in and do the workouts. Yeah. So, what was it like doing the workouts online? Uh, it was very similar to when I was working out with you guys in the morning, uh -huh. um, so I just put myself in that mind frame. When I got home from work, um, I just ha had a little snack mm -hmm. and then um, looked at the videos for the day and just did it. Like, mm -hmm. that's what you have to do, just do it. Just that's start. It. Yeah. And then you're there. You're right. in it. Like, it's really a sense of community. So, because of those things, I really wanted her to come in and kind of share with you her successes. And there's just one other thing I wanted to tell you, and this is a really important thing. Okay. You are the fittest winner! Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Judy! Yes! I can talk. Yes! You are the fittest oh winner! God. Yes! <laughs> and you deserve it! You earned it! You're amazing! I'm Thank so you. super proud of you! Thank I'm you. so super proud of you! And you know what? You made it easy. You represented all the principles that I laid out for this entire program, which is self-love, dedication, discipline, and growth. 
So yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna be happy to say. Oh, I feel like I did. I'm just so happy. This was so much fun, and yeah. I'm really excited that other people get to do the same video. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This was an amazing experience. I'm gonna forget this, so I'm glad this is <laughs> on film. Um, but this, it was so great, so much fun, and I'm just also just really proud of myself that I kept with it. That you kept with it. Yeah. Yay! Oh my. <laughs> progress and she is still with us on the TRFC so she's going to continue to be fit through and fabulous and represent yeah. shining like a rock star you are everything yes. congratulations thank you girl. so much oh, yes. Tiffany. okay OPs for all the online participants this is for you we had an amazing journey we had some incredible people participating on the Tiffany Rock Fit Club, getting awesome results, which I will show you all the results on Facebook. And it has been really quite an experience. And it was really tough to pick a winner. It was really tough. But the winner that I chose is someone who, from the very beginning, was extremely committed. She stuck with it. She had some hard times coming in her life, but she didn't let it get her down. And you guys have heard her name before. So congratulations to Barathe. Yay! You are the fittest winner this year. Put your crown on and be fit, fierce, and fabulous, girl, no matter where you are. It's right inside of you. Congratulations, Barathe. The road to greatness does not stop when the fittest winner is over. There's so many workouts available to you online on the Tiffany Roth Fit Club, and that's how you stay in shape. The key to success is the three C's. You know what that is? Constant and consistent commitment. That's right, we are all fit, fierce, and fabulous. When we went out there to Sunset Ranch, we took an oath. I commit to be fit. Right? You remember that? I want you guys to say it with me. I commit to be fit. I am fierce because I can. So when obstacles get in your way, I don't want to hear about I can't, I don't have time, I don't want to hear it. You guys have to be fierce. And the last one is I am fabulous because that is who I am. This journey is about self-love. If you love yourself, if you are fabulous every day in your mind, body, and spirit, you will do whatever it takes to be great. So that is the main goal on the road to greatness. Fit, fierce, and fabulous forever. I'll see you all in the Tiffany Roth Fit Club so that we can continue this journey together. What's our motto, everybody? We are better together. Don't forget it. Leave your comments. I want to know how you like the show, which contestant you thought should win. And you know what? Give them some feedback. Give them some love, some congratulations. They need it. It's been eight weeks. And for all you OPs out there, you're stellar. I love you all.